They told me to come over as quick as I could. A couple of guys were bothering your wife. Hey, how do I know? This is Benino. It's all right. Frank is here. He's got everything under control. Frank, you got everything under control? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right, listen. I got to go out with a few people waiting in the place over there like that, all right? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll see you later, Frank. Hey, Sally! <laughs>
Jerry, what you happened? Been, all right? Come around. I'm a big time guy now. You know what I'm saying? I've been busy. You feel all right? I feel good. How about yourself? Good. You gotta buy yourself a belt here. What are you doing? You're using this rope for a belt. Hey, Gus. I got one of my new pieces here, huh? Come on, oh, you don't have to shoot that thing. You could use it for a baseball bat. You don't mind if I take it back? I want to fire it a few times. Look at you, you look just like Santa Claus. You got the white hair like that and the big red cheeks. You're a crazy old man. <laughs> I'll be back in a bit, all right? Hey, Sarah, Joe, how are you? Jerry, how are you? Good to see you. Can you lend me a couple of bucks? 
gave you a couple of bucks. Give the guy a couple of bucks, will you? I can't move nobody. You move me pretty good, don't you? What are you doing with all this money? I'm losing it. Why don't you at least buy yourself a new pair of sneakers or something? Six. Uh, that's eight altogether, right? Eight. Jerry, I'll see you around in the back. Look at this. Got a hundred dollars in my kick for a month. Listen, I got a score for you. Oh, yeah? Something I think you'll like. Pretty easy, you know? It's a supermarket. I think it's perfect for us. I mean, if you're interested. I know you like to work alone. Forget about scores. Book a few horses. That Monday night football. But forget about scores. Where you'll end up in a camp. Need money. To book horses. Book games. Like that jerk over there, Buddy Scalise. He owes me 400 for three months. This kid over here? Yeah. The tan suit? Yeah, that's him. Well, why don't you collect? You hear what I said? Buddy Scalise. Jimmy Scalise's nephew. So what? I mean, so what? You know who Jimmy Scalise is. Let me understand something. Because his uncle's Al Capone, that mean he don't have to pay you? What do you think? Why don't you introduce me to this kid? For what? Because I would like to meet him. I mean, you want to abuse him? No, I don't want to. I just want to meet the kid. I mean, if his uncle's such a big-time racket guy, like, I'm impressed by stuff like that. Are you in such trouble? No, I just want to meet the kid. You mean just fool around? Yeah, just like, you know, break horns and all. Well, I'll introduce you. All right, let's go. There's two kinds of people in this world. There's the sheep and the shepherds. And there's wolves, too. Hey, buddy, hey. Listen, just say hello to a friend of mine, Jerry Blanty. Let me ask you a question. How can you bet five hundred dollars on a horse race when you're my friend here, four hundred? Hey, who is this guy? I thought he was your friend. He doesn't mean anything. Yo, wait a second. Excuse me. Uh, your name is Buddy Scalise, right? Is there any chance related to Jimmy Scalise? Yeah, I thought so. There's a very strong resemblance in the eyes. I'm his nephew. You're Jimmy Scalise's nephew? I heard a lot about your uncle. He's a big time guy. I got a call from Tanky last night. He told me what happened. Two hours I had to sit down with Scalise. What the hell's the matter with you? You know better than that. What are you messing with those people for? You know they kill you for what you did? 25 years I've been in this neighborhood with Scalise and Rizzo before him. Never once did I have to sit down to apologize for myself or any of my people. Well, Gantany, I'm sorry I had to do that. You gotta know this. That kid don't call any special privileges with me. He's Scalise's nephew and you don't abuse a Scalise. Tell Scalise to pay the money to kiddos and, uh, we'll forget the whole thing. Well, we'll do it my way. I told Jimmy that you would go down there and apologize to him personally. Then we all start friends again. I wish you wouldn't have done that. I don't, I don't even know why I try to protect you. No, you're not protecting me. You're protecting yourself, and you're protecting them. Oh. What am I, from Butte, Montana? You think I just parachuted into this neighborhood? Come on. I know what's going on. Everybody thinks like you. And these guys, they do whatever they want. Now that I got you on the phone, uh, let me ask you a question. 
Mr. Scalise, not for nothing, but uh, what do you think about your nephew? Here's Anthony. Yeah, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah, well, listen. <laughs> we were young ourselves, right? We do the same thing, no? Yeah, right. Yeah, well, listen, Jim. Tell you what, thank you very much. Why don't I see you in about an hour? And don't worry about the other thing. I got somebody taking care of that. And Jimmy. Glad you're on. Shabri. I don't understand. You're going to get us killed. You know, hey, right? Let me tell you a story about it. I pushed the kid also around a joint. Oh, I can throw it. Hey, 
hand in it. Forget it. Don't ask it me, please. Come on. The little coin in your pocket, all of a sudden you're getting choosy. I want collections. I want collections. What the hell do you think I am? Household finance? You want to work? You work. If you want to get choosy, you go someplace else. Just stop me around. Jerry, these kids have got a nice score. And if I don't send somebody with them, they're gonna blow it. You're the only one I trust. If you do this, you'll be doing me a big favor. Okay. I'll do you the favor. But I engineer the score. Everything's done my way. Now, Anthony. You do me a favor. Don't yell at me anymore. Please. We can have some privacy in here. Have a seat. Okay, here's some copies of the notes. I made two each. Do you have the addresses? The juice is, I didn't know the relatives. Can you find out for me? I'd, uh, rather you just deal with him. Now, is there, uh, anything else you need? Are you sure this guy's got the money, right? Yeah, he's got it. See, Bernie's a wise guy. He just put his company in Chapter 11. My lawyer's been trying to get him into court for months now, but all he talks about is settlement. He, uh, wants to give me $25 a week. $25 a week? Bernie's a real comedian. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to settle for $25 a week. That's an insult. Now, let me see if I uh, understand the arrangement. If you collect the money, I give Mr. Ayadavia one-third cash. Now, just for argument's sake, let's say you don't collect. Forget argument's sake, will you, mister? I'll collect. No matter what, you know, we'll go for a drink. Go for cocktails. Well, don't go by the house, you know. Well, what's the difference? Bernie, there's a Mr. Knight here from National Midland Bank. Hold on. National Midland Bank? Send him in. Okay. Yeah, let me call you back. Now you got some beer. I'll call you later. Hello, Mr. Knight. It's a pleasure. Why don't you sit down and make yourself comfortable? Listen, I have to apologize, but my account is with Central. I'm not really sure what uh, National Midland's looking for. I'm from Herb Green's office. What the hell is this? Mr. Felcher, I'm here to discuss a series of promissory notes. You haven't made a payment since October. What are you, a strong arm? You gonna beat me up? No, I have some copies of the notes here, sir. Answer me, are you gonna beat me up? No, sir. Are you from a collection agency? No, I'm a collector. What, do you have a gun? No, sir. with the interest. When does Mr. Green collect? I haven't got it. Let me explain something to you, Mr. Fowler. Right, look, don't give me a story, huh? Shut up! You owe that money to me now. And I don't care where you get it from. All right. 
I'll try and get him a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars? That's an insult. It doesn't even cover the interest. I can't do any better than that. You're gonna have to. Because if you don't, I won't like it. You don't have to threaten me. I'm not threatening you. I just said that I wouldn't like it. No! Do you want your money collected? I don't want violence. If he doesn't pay, he doesn't pay. I don't want you breaking his arms, or shooting him, or whatever you people do. I do what I'm hired to do. You weren't hired to pull a gun. I was hired to collect money for you, Mr. Green. I don't care. I thought you might be able to frighten him into paying. I never said violence. You walk in there, pull a gun on him. I could go to jail. You didn't do your job right. Now, if he doesn't pay, that's it. Give me back the notes. Go tell it to a tombstone. Speak to Mr. Ayadavi about this. You can speak to whoever you want. job easy for you.
too many spots today. Somebody shoot you. Why don't you ask them? Well, if you told me, maybe at least I'd sleep better. Your back is all bloody. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes I hate you for it. different guys for that kind of money. <laughs> All right. You're a 
bigger thief than me. But I'm telling you now, Bernie, you owe me on this one. And don't worry about it. Green and Belanti will be taken care of. Mr. Clement? You call me Sam. All right, Sam. I'm Mr. Green's secretary. He's ready for you now. Oh, fine. Have you been doing business with him long? Not for the last two or three years. Oh, I All his secretary was as pretty as you. I'm the finest one he's got. I can dig it. <laughs> pretty girl, I love you here. Well, thank you. I try never to go anywhere without him. so wide open like this. Don't you know it's cheaper to kill you than to pay you? Don't worry, I take good care of myself. Maybe you should just walk away for a while and go work on that supermarket. I want you to stay away from Felch. I'll take care of this. everybody else.
Get some booze, will you please? You you call Joey. You, you're good at that. That's it. Get some some booze. Sir, get rid of that bag. That's room service, please. Room service. It's eleven fourteen. Yeah, I'd like some drinks sent up, please. Scotch and water and, uh, what do you want, Serge? Drambuie. And a Drambuie, please. Yes, thank you. What's this? It's my piece. It's your piece? Yeah. Got a holster, too. Yes. I had it adjusted. Gee, it's beautiful. Really nice. Thank you. Got any landmines? I could probably get some. Good. We might have to blow up a block or something. We're not going to commit mass murder. You know that, don't you? I'm not going to commit mass murder. This thing goes through six people. What this order? It's not loaded. I don't care. I don't want to see it, ever. Get rid of it. The songs of Stephen Foster have been lost in the sands of time. This guy kidding? Right now, I'd like to bring back one of those songs, if I may. And it sounds something like this. Give me those peanuts. Yeah. Beautiful dreamer. Wake up to me. Well, eight to five, I get him on the first shot. Starlight and dewdrops are waiting for me. You missed. Missed? Where were you looking? Sounds of the rude world heard in the day. Lulled by the moonlight, I'm all beautiful dreamer. Queen of my song, bliss while I woo thee with soft melody. That insulted <laughs> in all my life. I've had enough of this. He's talented. He's talented. He's talented. I think so. Uh, oh, wait, you got him in the head now. Is he asleep? Try Weight Watchers. <laughs> Neil, where are you going? Where am I going? Where are you going? Where do you think I'm going? Did you see what's going on here? Neil, just take it easy. Did you, did you see what those animals are doing with the peanuts? What are these clowns talking about? I think he's talking about me. Neil, let me handle it. Look, like we got paying customers here. Take it easy. I don't care about them. I don't care about them. Neil, would you let me take care of it, please? Oh, I'll do it right now, okay? okay I'll wait Come on, you. wait All right. for me. All right. Wait, 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 w
Okay, so these orders are probably going to come a huge jerk. Put this thing away. You take that out, I'll kill you.
did you say you got? I got 40,000. The radio said 60. It's a difference. The money's gone. Well, I just want to know if I lost $6,000 or $4,000. That's all the difference it makes to me. You know, it's a very funny coincidence. I send you out on two jobs, twice you get the money, and twice you lose it. You know what I think? I think you killed him and took the money for yourself. I killed him? Yeah, you killed him. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? I take you out of scrape after scrape. I put money in your pocket, I talk up for you. I took you out of all 50 times. You were like a son to me. You were gonna get my old business. Your business? You walk around this neighborhood like Scalise. Like you got armies working for you. Who the hell are you? I'm sorry you feel that way. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what are you doing in here? I don't know who you want to get the hell out of here. Spinoza, who's got the contracts? What contract? What the hell are you talking about? Spinoza. What do you want? I want to know who's got the contracts. Maybe you didn't hear me. Killed two of my friends. Give them up.
I'll be right down. Thanks, Gus. Hey, Paula. I'm gonna run out for a few minutes. Oh, come on. Do you have to leave right now? Dinner's almost ready. Oh, our dinner will keep. Besides, uh, this is more important. Who knows? I might even come home with a surprise for you. I'll do that. No, I want you to know I really appreciate it. 
Okay, you call me about this camper. It means a lot to my girl. Now, this camper, where is it? Over here? Down here, about 100 yards. You'll see it. It's in good shape. Yeah, the body needs a little work. The engine's good. Yeah. And the price? For you, sure. You're the best. Maybe she's right, my girl. The camper, I get out of the neighborhood for a few weeks. Now you're getting old. I want to see you retire. As soon as I make a score, you know you got a piece of me, right? <laughs>